it's late morning, siesta time I guess, so I just got done cleaning out, raking out underneath here, so, what are you doing Mabel, she's getting so big, she's growing so fast, huh, yeah they was in the, on the grass yesterday, I put them in the little tractors, so I'll do that again today, I think I'm going to pull them back here, um, in the back and set them up, be closer in that way they won't be out in the direct sun there do it early enough so I got to get some things rearranged Henry oh man you're a little behind on I don't know I guess you're you're growing you just I forget what mix he is I mean he's huh yeah he's sweet he's sweet though really soft fur but <laughs> and Poppy's getting big. It's all a couple pounds, so they've been doing like a pound a month. Mabel still climbs into her basket. Huh. So, I think I am going to rehome uh, Poppy. And George Jones, I'm going to be getting a chinchilla buck and a chinchilla silver fox mixed dough. So, I do some rearranging. <laughs> Here comes the chickens. I just gave up. <laughs> I did buy me some more boards today so I can finish going across there and I'll just let the chickens in here because if there's anything down here they can eat, they can have to it. Um, cowboy. <laughs> yeah, I had to um, kind of show him who the boss was the other day. First time ever he like started to come at me. He's only five months old. And so I had to take my, you know, two fingers on his neck and hold him down on the ground. Take my other hand, hold his back down. And then once he laid there for a couple minutes, then I picked him up and I made him suffer through me petting him for almost a full 20 minutes until he was just laid down. Well, it wasn't 20 minutes, probably more like 10 minutes. So he laid down completely on my lap without me having to hold him there. Uh, but I'm, I still don't turn my back on him. So anyways, um, I'm going to get the wood and get it brought out. And I got a, <coughs> a treated board to go down there so I can make me a doorway over here. And then I got some more of the wood to um, exchange that brace there so I can bring them out here. And I can get these, a couple more of these to slide underneath there. So that'll work. And I've been taking these out and put them up against the house and rinsing them off. I just threw I just threw that out in the yard. It's just free fertilizer. <laughs> so I take it. Or you know if it gets too much or whatever. I just throw it out in the pasture. Um <laughs> you're just so sweet. But uh so I'm gonna try to get that fixed today. Maybe get started on the rest of my cross boards. I mean the chickens can still get underneath there. I gotta fix that board and pull it down. Look how uneven I got that. I was tired. I didn't feel like getting the level up there if I had a third hand. So, copies of being all spunky. So I'm gonna get everything hauled out here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you just full of it this morning, aren't you? You just full of it this morning. Aren't you? Huh? Yeah, you are. You're just full of it. I don't have any. I don't have a treat. No, I don't. You're my sweet baby, huh? You're all sweet. Get, get in there. Get your nose in there. I'll go get the, um, the tractors and get them back here so I can get you guys out on grass for a little bit, okay? Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, so I've got this done, this side, that side, and this is patchwork. If you haven't finished this side, because I got that different board, that's okay. I'm gonna paint and cam camouflage everything when I get done. And the bottom two boards I didn't put together because the board is on the inside, this tall board is on the outside, so that's okay. And then what I'm gonna do is unscrew these, this cheap wood, pull it out, cut that, so I can get my strips of wood here. And like I said, I don't want it to be perfect. I want it, to, you know, kind of that shabby old fashioned look, you know, <laughs> whatever you call it. So, so I got enough boards. I did knock those thin supports out and put some wider ones in there so that these plates will fit all the way down through there. So I got that fixed. Got this on here. I got the treated piece of uh, lumber that's going to be the support for my. Um, you know my walk through door and stuff. Then I'll have the slats going across here, too. I think I have enough chicken wire left to do um, Matter of fact, I think I know I do to do another door. So again, I'm gonna do the door first So I know where to put that piece of lumber here and I'm gonna get ordered one of those um, plastic um, cabinets like uh, storage things <laughs> Put out here. It'll be underneath the tree. But even in the winter time, we don't get we don't get snow. So <laughs> seldom we might see some flickers. It's mostly just freezing um, and a lot of rain in the winter. But um, that way, and clear everything out of there. Have that all open. Um, yeah, my chickens can still get in there. They're finding the bigger slats to get through. <laughs> that one there just crawled right underneath there so I want enough room on the bottom so I can get my because that's how I cleaned everything out today I can still get my rake underneath there and rake that stuff out um I've just been throwing it in the yard free fertilizer um I gotta get someone's front yard and then I've got to order seven or eight more of these trays the 36 inch ones because I still got to fill out around here um I still got to get out, you know, underneath all these grow-out cages. So, and that way I can get rid of all my mess here. <laughs> to find you a cool spot. So I just let the chickens in here. That way, if there's any bugs or anything that's growing that I don't catch right away, they can take care of it. So, ain't nothing else for them to get into here. Oh, baby, I oh, know. It's hot, ain't it? Yeah. Everybody's sleeping. <laughs> nappy nappy time nappy nappy time hey George he had a little place on the back of his neck now I don't know if that's where he scratched himself or what but I didn't notice it before uh, but I've been putting some Neosporin on it it's just a real little tiny scratch but still um everyone else is okay um and their feet and paws look good. Now hers um, had a little bit underneath them. I was starting to mat a little bit. And I think I need to trim the bottom of her back, of her hocks, her back feet. So I'll probably do that later. I'll grab her and get that done and then get them out to grass. Okay, I got all my boards all the way around. And that's a couple of different things. I don't want it to be solid feel, you know, because I don't want to hold all that in. I need the um, airflow. This is Georgia. I'm northwest Georgia, so I don't get, we don't get like northern weather. We do get below freezing um, and a lot of rain instead of snow. Um, but uh, anyways, but a couple things, you know, it's for the breezing stuff. Um, also, as you see, it holds the curtains back. Because when it's breezing, it's going to blow it in and then they'll peel on the curtains. <laughs> um, and in wintertime, too, it gives me something to staple the plastic to. And then I got my door here on. I was going to do it just like I did one in front. But I thought, you know, it's just to make it feel more like a, more like a rabbit room, a rabbit tree, you know. So, I just got to get the handle put on there. So, I got that. I got it all the way around. Some scrap pieces, some different pieces. Um, but as you can see, it goes 
goes all the way down there. Um, so now I've got my I got my thing ordered to go back there and put all this stuff in. Uh, I still have a few months to get everything done, so it's hot. I put some ice cubes in there, water. That, yeah. Stuck an ice cube on their plate, but it's done melting. And they just laying there. Yeah, I put the fans up as close as I can to get all of them. So, let me go take a break real quick. Then I can come back and start cleaning up my mess out there. 